ുനിവേഴ്സ് <laughs> align with the cosmic energy right so that is a prerequisite so if you are a yogi and then you can do these practices and can because human a human body has a capability right to live about 125 years right it's not it's just we are not exploring the thing right i already made a video regarding how to live healthier and, you know, and longer but this is sometime something different right this is regarding yogic habits right these are all habits that the yogi do the spiritual leaders do on regular basis right to be enlightened or be awakened spiritually awakened and to live longer right so this method definitely one can try so not last but not least is waking up early this is so much important right when you see any kind of yogi they will just wake up on 4 or 4:30 am in the morning right and they believe that waking up early along with the sunrise has the power right it's it's about to have away the light your energy also decreases as compared to the energy of sun so you are aligned with the energy of sun so as the sun progresses or sun rises it is your duty also to rise up right so that is so much important to wake up early in the morning i hope he made a video regarding success habits you can check but that is about about the matrix right but here we are not talking about matrix here we are talking about yogic abilities or yogic habits Right, the habits that we that can help you to be spiritually awakened, to become the spiritual person, to become enlightened. So waking up is so much important, right? And waking not just waking up, but waking up with full power, full energization, full authority, right, is so much important, right? So waking up the early it is necessary, right? If you are not habitual, then you can make a habit, right? You can do many things, right? And if you are having having mind power if you know the mind power then you yourself can set the clock in the brain right and uh, you won't believe and you will be surprised that you will be wake up at that time only in the morning such is the power of mind right everything is mental right it is already said in seven hermetic principles of the universe that everything is mind said everything is mental when you control the mind you can control anything but when mind controls you then you can do nothing so make sure that you only control your mind right? and not the mind control you this is so much important right so moving moving on the second habit that is sub mangal dhyan right it is a meditation now when i say this sub mangal dhyan means that you are not having any kind of trouble with the society or trouble with the universe you always feel that everything will be good everything everyone will be happy everyone will be at peace everyone will be making money everyone will be abundant and prosperous this is the sub mangal dhyan right you are doing meditation right with the intention that the world will also be better that there will not be any kind of worry that there will not be any kind of anger that there will always be peace there will always be abundance and the people will always be happy that this is the sub mangal this is the intention for what you set for the day right because a lot of people just wake up and they are having troubles right with the society with the people and now they are imparting negativity out in the world but this is not like this this is so mangal dhyan yeah. make it a priority right whatever is intention you set in the universe right it will manifest right it is like the thas to right when you just make, make your intention clear right the universe will definitely help you to achieve that right so it is so much important that you you recite this meditation right when you after you wake up sit in silence right and set your intention maybe for yourself for the society for the betterment but here we are talking about society because we are providing service to the society we are service provider right when you are the service <clears throat> and when you good do good to others right the same good will be returned to you in multiple times right what you give you receive it is karma right so it is so much important that you use this sub mangal dhyan right wake up waking up and this is the first spiritual practice right when you talks about yogi when you talk about you know, those spiritual people those enlightened people right 
delirku right even if they are suffering from any anger stress anxiety from other kind of people they just let go right but just speaking because words have power when you speak the words it comes into existence so make sure you do this sub so manga gyan early in the morning if you want to be spiritually awake and if you wish that you live live the life of a yogi and <clears throat> being to yourself this is not only about you anyone can do that it's only about an intention what energy you are giving in the universe right because whatever you give you it come back right so everything is energy so if you are giving positive energy positive vibes to all the people near around you or to the world it will definitely come back to you so make sure you have this practice third is yoga abhyas now yoga abhyas is not just exercise or doing some kind of uh, some kind of stressful activity of yoga right with the so you right yoga is actually very simple right simple material it's like simple breathing exercise for example you have seen that when someone is doing this physical activity and if they someone involve the breath then the power becomes multiplied same goes with yoga if you are doing any kind of yoga practice and if you involve your breathing right then it will be multiplied the effect will be multiplied and also the benefit will be great so it's all about like uh, having power or grip over to towards your breath right because your breath is everything right when you are not breathing then you are dead right so but still, but still we are not grateful for our breath but and when do these kind of practices like you were be as right like you can do a lot of kapal bhati or anulom vilom and all the things right this kind of yoga and meditation only like right? it's all the breathing practices practices i already made a video regarding breathing how you can do a simple breathing exercise can change your life you yourself can involve this kind of breathing exercise this kind of yogi habits it's called yoga abhyas right do everything do everything in the morning right and you will you will feel the difference right it's it's like just making this as a habit right because a lot of people are not having any kind of habits regarding this right but when you just make a daily routine right for 10 20 30 days then it becomes your routine and then you you will not find any kind of difficulty to find time or something and you also will be disciplined right because here um, the loss comes comes into thing right like yam niyam asam pranayam pratahar dhyan samadhi right so it's it's all the process right so yam niyam asam it's all about discipline it's all about yoga is only about discipline only right when you do when you give your 100% when you make it as a practice right so this is the third step fourth <clears throat> yogi that i already made a video regarding that how you can just alter your daily habits with the help of yogi that you will just that includes only the natural food right the food that will help you in the balancing the rajas tamas and sattva and sattva in your body right and so <clears throat> <clears throat> it's so much important to have this yogi that you when you do this yogi that you will be your body feeling light right because you know all the foods that helps you balance your chakras a lot of green vegetables right like you just include 60% of the salad and only 40% of the diet that you do right and that can be any form right and but i will definitely suggest you pick to pick fruits in the morning beginning in the morning and <clears throat> just as the day progresses you can take your meal but make sure you have a salad along with it that right? is a practice you keep practice right um, you will find so much benefits within your body and when you feel light right when you feel the when you put the right amount good amount of proper amount of food into your body it affects your mind also and affects your thinking also on many different things and even you can change your change your composition body's composition right uh, so it's so much important right uh, no doubt there will be a cheat they like you are allowed to do it to eat anything right but it depends right and there's a lot of people taking the diet but they're not even blessing what they're eating right it it is so much important when it comes to you get there like you are blessing the diet so even if the diet is not proper or having some kind of bad energy it will be eliminated because you are grateful for what you are eating there is a power right you must you must be grateful for what you are what you are having to eat right and then universe will definitely help you 
in many ways so you get that is so actually the separation of different food molecules into different sections where we include the natural organic raw organic that uh, very in very high amount right maybe green leaf vegetables or, or mm -hmm. fruits and all the many, many other things right i already made a separate video regarding that how can that can change you and make you live to about 125 so this is the power of yogi that next we have walking now i'm not saying 10000 steps right? i'm just saying 1000 steps right because well, we just we just go over data right uh, like for fitness we need this 10000 steps it is not it is not necessary right? even if walking something for the simple as a nature walk right be, be walking barefoot will definitely help you right and so in here i will be talking thousand steps right as a habit for daily for about 21 days and your life will start changing because walking is so much benefit right when it comes to psychology your brain development and many other things it is a so much power it can get rid of stress anxiety and all the things because when you walk on the bare foot right you are just balancing your root chakra right the root chakra element you are connected to the ground the mother nature the gaya right there is a source of all the things right so it is so much important to walk within bare foot to take the natural mother energy into your body right and so it is so much helpful to walk with bare foot have a grass right in your home have a plants in your home right make sure you are investing into green things green things greenery garden any damn thing right it, it will be help you helping you so much you can't even imagine right that is a practice that's why you see all the yogic or those old spiritual powerful leaders they just look for nature only they will go for mountains they will go for rivers they will go for all beautiful scenery greenery gardens and all that and they will find peace there right and they will just be so much power, become them become almost almost powerful you are not even aware that you can the plant is also a living being you can talk to the plants right you can talk to the trees they are listening to us right that is a thing right there are all natural elements right in that way we, you can just get connected and you can just involve all this kind of natural elements into your life right so walking is so much important right and it is kind of exercise also it's a manipulation of your brain and also your body because you are when you're walking you are stretching up your body and then other elements like endorphins and all the things will be released from the body right so uh, this is definitely a practice next on the list is rest nap and relax here yeah, there is so much important so now for example if you are working but if you are not, uh, not have finding one hour or 30 minutes of rest or nap in the afternoon or taking the lunch is so much benefit compared to when it is into ayurveda is a rest thing not taking nap it gives your power to the brain right? and as well as your overall being right it is so much important after taking a meal between the afternoon meal for 30 minutes or whatever it is or maybe stay there right? and you can just take you can just ask to when you are working then ask your manager or your supervisor to say i can have a rest food take some rest right in the afternoon and this will be just canalizing your energy for the remaining entire day and you will feel powerful you will feel relaxed you will feel better rest and a lot of a lot of people just exercise and gives the stress to the body and it's pain in each and every but they forget to really relax or rest that it's the rest and relax that will make your body proper that will give you all the things that is necessary right for your living being right is so much important right? rest nap and relax that right? is so much important make sure you involve this here also into your life next sun or moon bath this is also so much important that when you are waking up in the morning it is necessary to just have a sun bath or sun gazing right you can read a book outside or any damn thing right you can just go for a walk under the sun right and sun is a power right because sun is a source of energy right? and you are just incorporating that energy into your body and so now any kind of disease problems or toxic waste or anything will definitely move right and the cells and bodies and uh, all the things will be rejuvenated when you take sun bath it also goes for moon when it is night right you can do the moon under the moon and when you do moon bath right, right you will be healing a lot of relationship problems because moon moon is somewhere related to relationship sun and moon energy 
That's why I'm saying that when you do Rama, Dasa, Sathya, Soham, actually you are involved doing the sun energy, moon energy, like all the powerful things of the celestial objects that, 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 are, that are natural things. You are involving their power into your life, into your body. You are harvesting their energy. So you become so much powerful. So it is so much important to have a sun and moon bath. Right? I'm not saying that you go under sun after 12 p.m., right? But it is necessary when you are in the morning, early morning, maybe 8 or 10 a.m. It is so much important to have a sun bath. And when it is a moon, full moon, right? You can just sleep outside, right? You have some walk or take a bit of Right, and this is power and influence of the moon, you will see definitely amazing effect on your body, mind, and soul. That is the power. Next, lifelong learning. It is so much important, right? We must learn ourselves each and every day. Learn new things. I am also a lifelong learner. Okay, even if I am not knowing anything, but still I am in a process of learning. You must never give up learning, right? If you com completed the academic things, and you think that you know everything, no, it is wrong. You don't know actually anything. So <clears throat> we are totally unknown and we must explore ourselves. We know we must know what we are capable of and how you can improve ourselves on our day-to-day -day basis. Lifelong learning is so much important. It is all the successful people and all the world, great philosophers, great thinkers, and great spiritual leaders, top masters, and lifelong learners. And when you have a continuous learning process, it improves your brain, your thinking capability, and many other things, right? And so lifelong learning. Learning can be done in many different ways. I already made a video on sector seven in which I have discussed the type of ways you can learn, right, anything. And it is right now so much data and so much information, good information is available. So it is important for you to become a lifelong learner. And when you become a lifelong learner, your life changes for the better, right? It is so much important. Like all the yogi spiritual leaders and top powerful thinkers are the lifelong learner, right? Last is contribution. When you know, when you are having knowledge, right? And then you need to share to the world, to contribute to the world, provide the service to all the things. It is so much important. Like, for example, I am knowing this, so I'm contributing to the world, I'm sharing my knowledge. Like, knowledge not used is garbage. So if you know anything and if you're learning anything, right, then you can you can make others the part of your learning or also you can learn from them also, right? Because when you teach someone or when you just make yourself capable to teach someone, then in that process, you also learn. That is the vice versa, right? What you do, you receive. If you make a contribution to the world, right? If I take the example of Osho, then Osho was the was a top leader, right? He was a spiritual person, he was a master, right? And he contributed to the world with his thinkings, with his knowing, with his with his learnings. So same goes for any kind of view where you take where you take, you contribute to the world, right? You you make the impact in the world, you share your things, whatever you know, right? Whatever it is good, right, that can help the society to elevate themselves or to make the world a better place, right? This is the Prerequisite. It is so much important that you contribute to the society, to, to the world, to the people around you, right? And when you become spiritual, powerful, when you become enlightened, it is your duty to contribute to the society, to the world in any way, in any damn way it is possible, right? So when you provide service to others, when you do good to others, all the things will return to you back in multiple ways. You can't even imagine, right? People, is, people sell their souls for money, right? But when you contribute to the society, it is, it is like, it is a different way, right? Because you are contributing to the world, you are contributing to the society, you are providing something, right? And so now you, it is it is universe response. It is, universe will definitely help you to get back, right? What you deserve, right? What you contributed, right? You will be getting returns, right? In many different ways, you can't even imagine. Maybe through success, maybe through money, maybe through fame, right? Maybe some of the people, some of the great people will come into your life. You can't even imagine, right? In what ways, when you contribute to society, it can return back into numerous ways, right? So, so these are some of the spiritual power practices that you give practices that will help you to live longer, right? And you want to understand yourself and make your life better, right? So try implementing any of these practices into your life, right? And change your life. And there are a lot of 
to bad things happening right but we don't need to focus on it because what you focus on grows so if you are focusing on all the positive things you can just hold or all the habits that you are just involving on day to day basis your life can change for the better and it's so much important that we improve ourselves to make the better ourselves our competition is not but our competition is only with ourselves right making ourselves better each and every day we're progressing increasing our one percent every day which will, will lead us to 365 percent better right than the previous version so i hope that this talk really motivates you inspires you right if you like the video, video make sure you the like share and subscribe button right it means a lot right and also share it with others who just want to change their life right so hope see hope to see you in the next video till then bye